Well, it's about 2.30 in the morning. I'm gonna head up, go get a little bit of water, head up with a very light backpack, hit Elbert. I'm uh, a little bit anxious to be honest. I have definitely never been up that high outside of an airplane. So I'm curious how the breathing is gonna go. But I'm excited because I've also never been up that high. So here we go. All right, got about 4,000 feet to climb and 3.9 miles. Gonna be fun. Well, I'm up on top of Mount Elbert, 1,400, 433 feet. And yeah, woo-wee, that was a climb. That was very, very difficult. Hard to breathe. It's cold, windy. back down nice steep trail until we get off the rocks um, I will say the trail was difficult after we got to the rocks and it went straight up um, it wasn't like horrible for the legs and more of the breathing and getting the oxygen to the legs to make them function than it was to actually climb the mountain so good trip Second highest peak in the contiguous U.S. Mark that one off the list. And I should thank Bianca in Crisis for uh, coming up today. Wonderful, wonderful hike. Uh, I went up and I got in this little like fort thing. It was cold. It was windy. Watching the sun come up. I laid my head on the rock. Took like a little 10, 15 minute nap probably. And the sun came out, warmed me up a little bit. It was much better. This is amazing. This hike down. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see. So. Uh, I must say that uh, that was um, not as hard on the legs as I thought it would be, but much, it was definitely as hard on the chest as I thought it would be. I could tell though that I am uh, for sure feeling much better. The zero yesterday was amazing. I mean, I ended up hiking probably five miles, but the zero definitely made me feel so, so, so much better. Um, and I'm climbing up this today. I took a little break to check out the stars earlier. And then uh, 
I pretty much climbed the whole thing in just two goes. So that was pretty good. That means my legs are definitely feeling good and my chest is feeling much better too. I did take stop like uh, short one second, two second breaks, things like that, but that's about it. Beautiful hike, beautiful day. Met a lot of good people up there, nice people, a lot of dogs. Uh, can't ask much more. I've never seen one of these before. Ground squirrel. Hmm. Good morning. I'm finally making my way out of uh, Twin Lakes. Slept in the uh, rear lake bed again last night. Beautiful. Saw a green cloud. I've never seen that before. That was really neat. So this morning already I have uh, bushwhacked a little bit. Waded across to big creeks and uh, haven't even got to the trail so could be a good day I'm going over Hope Pass today 12,500 feet ish it's supposed to be a pretty difficult climb slept in today after that long climb yesterday so hopefully the legs I have it Let's see find it back on trail got about 3,400 feet of elevation uh, over the next 3.3 or 3.8 miles maybe I don't know it's a lot coming up right probably about, come up about a half a mile so far so whew, it's gonna be a good day well come up probably about seven tenths of a mile my legs feel like they're walking through jello so I'm just gonna take it easy get over the top of this and probably won't go too far today after that climb yesterday so Hope I can find a little spot. There's another big climb not long after Hope Pass, so I hope I can find a good spot somewhere in between, maybe a little bit up on the other one. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I'm about 1.5 miles from the top. This is called the Old Cabin. Woo! <sighs> Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Sit down. That's one way. Almost complete your hike. I'm not done yet. Man, that is steep. <sighs> I was down at that pond at a half mile ago. I still got a little bit more to get in that pass. So, here we go. on Hope Pass at uh, 12,534 feet. And it's a little busy up here right now. That was a very, very difficult climb. I'm glad I'm at the top and get to go down. It looks even steeper going down, so I have to be careful. But what a beautiful day. And look what I'm going towards. How gorgeous is that? So, here we go. Hello. All right, headed down. Beautiful.
finally hit some uh, not severely up or not severely down. So that's nice. I feel like I stretch my legs a little bit. <sighs> it's a little overcast. I'm talking about maybe some rain around 7, but it's not even close to 7. It's only like 4 o'clock. So hopefully it'll hold off. I'd like to get up the trail another 4 or 5 miles or so. storm starting to rain a little bit definitely close so I have tried to find a spot put up didn't quite make it to the water I was wanting to get to but I'm real close to it so hopefully there's some spots nearby guess we'll see well it keeps taking me out into the open so I just decided to uh, sit here underneath some trees and relax and let it go by if it starts raining really hard i'll pull my umbrella out that i haven't used yet so eh, wait it out i'm about uh 0.7 away um, there's a campsite next to a stream i think it'll be under trees hopefully i haven't seen a campsite in a couple miles so um yeah go there set up try to get out of this rain here I am I'm in my tent and it is a little bit wet in here um, I had to pour a little water out of the bottom but we'll get dry I'm sure I haven't done this in a minute fun well, fun I was not ready to get out of my tent this morning everything is soaked and got it all ready so now I got my rain jacket I got my gingies, I got my darn tufts, and I got my son's shirt all there. Hopefully to dry. I'll probably go about five miles and uh, get it all laid out in the sun, hopefully. And it's going to be another tough day going up over Lake Ann. Um, nowhere near the climb of yesterday, though. It's only a couple of miles straight up instead of four miles straight up. So uh, I'm sure it'll be beautiful up top. Yesterday was gorgeous. I mean, every day it just... I just feel so lucky, I guess. I don't know. It's amazing. Well, we'll see how it goes. Oh, what a beautiful morning after a nice stormy night. It quit raining last night probably for about two hours. About 8.30 it kicked back up again pretty hard. I fell asleep really quick after it did, but man, I mean, look at this. What a day, way to start your day. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, 200 miles down. Only got 286 left to go. It's going so quick. It's so beautiful. I don't want to end. I got a long ways to go still, but it'll go fast. Up here take a little break dry everything out beautiful spot 
nervous crisis and our gear all flung everywhere. Right away, I don't know if you can see those people up there, but that's where we're going. Can you see the trail? Nothing like a nice uphill, huh? Oh, what a beautiful thing to watch. Up, up, and away. Going up there. Oh, I got you. Hello, buddy. Where are you going? Come back. Like and pass. Well, I'm making my descent down, and this is what I get to look at the whole way. Cool marmots up top, beautiful views. Like and pass was much easier than hope, and uh, I am grateful. My legs don't feel bad at all. I'm breathing okay. So maybe we're moving on, huh? All right. So, I have just realized I left my glasses up top. So I have to be hopeful that maybe Lollipop or Grateful or Joshua will bring them down. They were up top when I left, so if they see them. Yeah, one of my worries when I was out here is that I'd lose my glasses or my sunglasses. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they get them.
loving this trail. It's been nice like this for, I don't know, maybe half a mile. I think we might be getting more of this, but more ups and downs, but shorter ups and downs coming up through the collegiates, at least for a little bit. I know there's a day, and it might be tomorrow, there's a real long ridge line exposed run. So that's something to always think about as well. Try to get out early, watch the weather, those types of things. So, but loving this. Well, I waited for about an hour and a half. Um, unfortunately, those guys from up top never came down to where I was. I went to the first water, so I thought maybe that was a good spot, but they may have stayed up there longer. They had just gotten up there when I left, so, oh well. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll see them down the trail and I'll have them. walking down the trail and I was looking at this massive mound of rock sticking out of the ground how cool is that through the trees it's not something you see every day you can clean that out and camp in there <laughs> 